Chilling, brother. I like the hat, man. Thanks, man. Thank you. Where are you checking in from? I'm checking in from New York, man. Copy. I'm, I was I was kind of sad to see your store go. Like, it's crazy. I spoke to you. I remember when I spoke to you. The first time I met you, I met you at round two. Okay. I had a, maybe, I'm not sure. You probably won't remember me. I had a bunch of Yeezys in my hand, and I was trying to sell them to you. That was uh, a little bit. That was like shortly after I opened the store. I think I was up there with like one or two of my yeah. employees, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You remember, yeah. And I, I remember you were at one of the shows in New York. I forget what show. It wasn't wasn't Sneaker Con or anything. Uh, um, sneaker Games. Yes, Sneaker Games. I was just talking to my cousin, and I remember you staring at our table. We had the most weirdest stuff ever, man. I kid you not. We had um, like a whole bunch of New Balances and everything, and I, and I remember just your face. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, damn. I was like, I think I disappointed him by having like the stuff that I had. And like, bro, I kid you not, it motivated me so much. Motivated me so much to do so much better. And even up until this morning, I was up until about four or five o'clock this morning, just like watching your Cleveland videos and your buyouts at SneakerCon. And that's where we're trying to head to next. And like, bro, my collection has gotten crazy with reselling. Like, well, you know, I think I think the most important part when you start something is to just keep giving it the same energy day in and day out, right? You mm -hmm. can't focus on, you can't beat yourself up when you go to a show and you see like a little bit different variety or a lot more volume on a different table because what you're missing when you look at that is what was their starting point? How, how yeah. much did they start with? How much knowledge, how much support was behind, behind the, you know, behind it, you know what I mean? And, and um, you know, like when I, I talked about it yesterday on, on the live stream, you know, just like when I first started, I didn't think, you know, like I, I didn't think I'd ever have a pair of Freddy's in our possession. Right. And, yeah. and, and back then they were like a thousand bucks and to now see them, you know, going for 20, 30 K and we've had a few, you know what I'm saying? It just goes yeah. to show you the growth, right? And and uh, that's the thing, man, is that we get lost in looking at when there's when there's energy behind something that you look at mm -hmm. and it and you gravitate to whatever it is they're doing, whether it's positive or negative, you forget the effort, right? Uh, another thing that I say a lot too is like, look at let's look let's talk baseball. You're wearing a Mets a Mets hat. Look at uh oh boy that won the you know, uh, the home run derby and, and one rookie of the year, like nobody expected him to do that. But what we didn't see and what we didn't respect in him blowing up is all the time, energy and effort he's put in since he was a kid to get to that point. Yeah. And he's only going to get better, you know. So when you talk about, hey, you know, you had this table and it was only certain product. And now you're sitting here and you're proud of what you have. Yeah. Like you're, you're excited, but like pat yourself on the back, bro. Cause it's not, it's not easy. You know oh, what I, I know. mean? I know it hasn't. And like, the thing is too, like, I'm, I'm a big thrifter. Like that's like really how I started. I started thrifting and like me and my cousin, we, we run, we run a website and everything right now. And you know, I, I, I can't wait for the senior cons and everything to get back, but I started thrifting and you know, it was like, I was picking up shoes for 20, $30. And now it's like, I can't do that because all the thrift stores are closed. So what I've been doing is I've been using mostly the Facebook marketplace and everything to get my shoes. I just did. And it's like, it's something I thought I would never be able to do. Like I see you do buyouts and I just did a buyout of a whole bunch of Nike SBs that were all brand new for like 2,700. I felt incredible because it was something I was, I was, I never thought I would be able to Bro, do. Bro, I remember going to like, look, I remember going to shows for a full two years before I had any money to spend out a show. I remember going to shows with five thousand dollars and we're like all right we got to stretch this five grand and then like taking pictures of literally putting everything out lefts and rights and then taking the picture and then over and over and over and over right and as the brand's grown yeah we've been able to you know s spend some insane numbers at yeah. some shows but it's like again it's all the sacrifices it's all the moving and moving you know what i mean so 
I don't get caught up so much in the numbers anymore, but I get caught up more in like the effort, the time. You know, it took me eight years to be able to do what you saw in Cleveland or in Dallas or Chicago. Like, and it's even then, too. they're like back to back, right? So, like, think some of these shows you see us spending 250, 300, 500, and then two weeks later, here's another show where we're where we're doing it again, and and that's not easy, man. Oh you no, know? absolutely, absolutely so, not. It's like I, and the thing is too, like. I'm happy what I'm doing. I'm happy the shoes I've been getting and everything. But like, it's it's taking up time for me and my girl. And my girl is constantly seeing it. She's like, "Oh, you're going to get more shoots in." I was like, "You have to understand. Like, I have a full time job too. I'm an iron worker in New York City. I'm a union iron worker. So, I'm just heading back to work because of this whole thing that's happened and everything. So, I've been grinding any which way possible, trying to scrape up any little bit from the bottom of the pot." And well, you know, what what's going to wind up happening is at some point you're going to realize that you've given it so much energy that you're either going to stop or you're going to walk away from your nine to five. Right. Uh, <laughs> and, and I get it. Yeah. Your nine to five pays extremely well because yeah. you're jeopardizing your life every day that you go out there and your benefits are solid. Right. But I can relate to the, you know, telling your old lady, I'm sorry, or the, like, the mention of oh here we go again it's another one like when Joni and I first started um selling shoes you know she was still working a nine to five and I was using her car to, to go around and you know there was times where we didn't see on the same page and next thing you know I'm like walking to malls from suburbs and yeah she's over here making faces so, you know but it's the truth there was times where you know we were both gonna camp but we weren't on the same page and next thing you know like, I'm out there by myself. Like, it, it, it's part of it. She doesn't understand. She don't She don't understand yet, right? And I had to do a lot of things over the years to um, get her to be on the same page. And I think she she doesn't regret any of it. I, I don't, I wouldn't change any of the process of how we've gotten here, you know? But, you know, I, I think that when you have that moment where... Um, what you've been doing generates more money than they ex or she expects you to make out of it. If you hit that one lick where you're like, damn, man, I came up, whatever the number is, right? Yeah. They'll be, she'll, she'll loosen up a little bit in the sense of like, she'll allow it to happen. I think it wasn't profit that changed my mind. she has, what, was, what was it that changed your mind? It wasn't profit. It was actually being out there and seeing what you were doing. Cause you were, you know, you were going to all these shoe stores and I was at work. So I didn't necessarily understand like what effort was being put into it. And like just the relationships that you were building. So when I actually got there, when I got out there myself with you and I got to experience who was in there, what kind of people are involved, the fact that it's like literally all walks of life, that's what convinced me. Like it wasn't about the profit. Like that was easy to see from the get go. And then yeah. like also taking months. So, I mean, like you see the ups and downs of it monetarily, but that's not what got me hooked. It was actually taking me there, taking me out with you to show me what it was like. That's what I got addicted to. I think, too, you know where I, I bring this moment up every once in a while? There was a, remember when we first, the first high rise that we lived at? Mm -hmm. And we over, like, we, we, we spent more than we probably should have to get in the place, right? Not that it wasn't worth it. We just weren't making it like that. And Joni's like, man, are we just going to have an empty house for a bit? Or, like, what the hell are we going to do? Are we going to put all this stuff on credit cards? And stuff like that. And I was like, nah, you know what? I'll sell some of my shit. And uh, I sold, what, like 30 or 40 pairs? Mm -hmm. it, wasn't, it wasn't nothing super crazy, but I sold like 30 or 40 pairs and it furnished the whole place. And then after that, Joni was like, yo, Jay, buy whatever you want. You know? So, I mean, I still ask, hey, is it cool if I do this or that? But, you know, from I going... Both of us ask. From Our going... Formality. Yeah, but from going from the, like, man, I can never spend, or like, damn, I really want this, and I might not be able to get it, because I might catch flag for it, to now I've been able to show that the system can work, um, 
it's made it a lot easier to acquire some of the grails that you might want over the years, you know? Yeah. Um, but it, again, it's all hard work. Oh yeah. So. I had, uh, and it was crazy. I had to go, this one guy, he had a bunch of, he had a bunch of SPs and he only told me he had like two pairs. I must've went back to this guy's place at least 15 times. And every time I had to pay the toll and pay the gas. But I was like, you know what? I was like, it's worth it. Like, I, it was like stuff like, I'm trying to think, like I have, they're all in boxes now, but it was stuff like this. I paid 40 bucks for these. And with stuff like this, I paid $40. And I know this profit to be made. Like I bought Tiffany highs off of him for $158, brand new in box. And Those like, are the moments you'll never forget through, through the journey, bro. Like I, I remember doing $40, sales at the store selling stussies for under 30 bucks i remember wow. selling plaids for you know four or five hundred bucks like and it's i mean those are all the moments that like they might not seem like much when it happens but those are the moments that you're like man what helped me get here what helped me build buzz what yeah. what what what's allowed me to get to the next one and it's those like random little things that you know, you're going to come across guys that are going to understand, yo, you got to make a dollar too. And they're going to show you love because they want to see you win. But those are few and far between, you know, you're going to get yeah. most of them are going to want to, most of them are going to want to, you know, get their market value, if not more, especially if you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but keep at it, man. You'll be all right. Yeah. I appreciate it. Like I, I look at you as such like a, as a, an inspiration is like such a motivating person that it's like it just pushes me to want to go further and want to go harder and at least take my business to possibly the next level with my full-time job i don't know if i'll ever be able to get up to you but i'm sure as hell gonna try you want get bigger than me bro because you know <laughs> like you see i tried new york and and um it was fun and it was a blessing um but there's a lot of things that like you know i'm still not like am i good yeah the brand's the brand has shown over a course of six years that it can do enough to to stay afloat. But if, even for me, that's not enough. You know what I mean? Like, I'm working harder now than I probably ever have. And it's only because it took this long for us to really understand, yo, if you give it energy, it's going to work, you know? Yeah. So I feel like knowing that I'm capable of working more, um, it really makes me kind of like I wasn't as efficient as I should have been with my time. You know what I mean? Especially in the yeah. beginning, but it's the not knowing, but enjoy the ride, bro. I wish you the best and stay yeah, safe out there, man. Let's go Mets. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go Mets. Hopefully we'll have a season, man. Take yeah, easy. bro. Take care. Bye.